what is up everybody it is wick here and i'm sitting outside goodwill thought we'd have a little fun today we're going to see how long it takes for me to make a hundred dollars now obviously i'm just looking for stuff that i think i can sell to make a hundred dollars before anyone points it out you know i realize it has to sell but i've been doing this for a while so i'm pretty good at estimating the profits and i always estimate low so it's just for fun anyway um we're gonna go in we're gonna see what we can find and i'll just go to the next goodwill after this and you know i'm gonna hit about three or four places today and if we don't make a hundred dollars i'll just continue the video the next day um sometimes you go in and make a few hundred in one store only takes about 10 minutes other days you know it might take a week to get to a hundred dollars but we'll see let's go inside and see what we can find so as soon as i get inside of this goodwill i see they're bringing out a cart and i go look on the cart and some gamecube games it's been a long time since i found gamecube games in a goodwill or even a yard sale probably over a year it could even be two years now so they are rare to find and especially marked at 2.99 like these were you can see i'm opening them up <laughs> i grabbed them off the cart took them over to a dark corner and like there's not going to be disc in these are there there usually isn't uh, in this case there was um they were only 2.99 that's going to get us closer to the hundred dollar goal here and looking over here in this random aisle of junk we got top 300 pharmacy drug cards a dollar 99 not sealed, not really worth any money. I find a lot of those kind of educational cards aren't worth money, surprisingly. There is something, a uh, bowling ball, I touch it and instantly regret it because I thought it was going to roll off the shelf. I haven't seen a lot of bowling balls in Goodwills. Um, maybe they quit accepting those as donations or something. I used to see them all the time. There's one. Um, I don't pick up bowling balls. I don't know much about them. Maybe there's some valuable. There's a North Face I picked up in the clothing. I'm looking it over and I'm going to buy this for me because it's my size and it was only $4. So why not? Maybe you could make a little bit of money. North Face is very saturated on eBay. It does sell. It just takes the right item to sell and make money. Over here in this miscellaneous stuff for your house, there's an interesting little book here. $3.99. Now I know a lot of people sell this kind of stuff on Etsy and eBay and they know how to use the keywords. They know what people's looking for for their house. Not my cup of tea. Uh, I've mentioned before so I don't buy that kind of stuff. Um, I might. I'm not saying I never will. Uh, but right now I have all kinds of other things to focus on reselling. I got death piles literally up to ceilings and I need to get that stuff dealt with first. I definitely love looking for the stuff more than I love listing it, that's for sure. Plus, I do retail arbitrage, so, you know, that comes first. And then whatever time I have left, I list on eBay. We got a North Face quarter zip falling over the GoPro here, but we move it. Uh, looking in the toys, here's a handheld for $7.99, one of these plug-and-plays. That's too much. Uh, they don't sell for as much as they used to anymore, 15 to 20 bucks for certain ones. Not going to pay $8 for that. And a lot of times the batteries on those have just exploded because uh, the battery case is screwed on. It's hard to check in a Goodwill. So you can't really, you know, confidently pay $8 for that. Got my phone over here making noises. Uh, we are looking for something, anything. Over here in the shoes, though, there's these... I think they're Brooks or they're Saucony's Ever Runs. I think they're Brooks. Um, I already forget, but they're great shoes to pick up. And I'll go over this stuff when I get in the car. And uh, we'll kind of do a uh, catch up on where we're at. Trying to get to that $100 profit. And we're looking for more shoes here. Anything that stands out. I look at so many shoes. <laughs> Sometimes my mind probably doesn't even focus. And I'm just walking past some good shoes. These are sticking out down here, so I decided to take a closer look. I see that they're Everlast, and then I see that they're $12.99, so that's not going to be worth it at all. But let's get in the car. I'll show you what I picked up in here. So we are out of the first Goodwill, and you know what? We're pretty close to that $100 already. Uh, we got these shoes, which are really good shoes, some sort of Everrun shoe. They were only $4.99. They've been marking up these types of shoes. So I'm surprised they were $4.99. But the comps, they're pretty rare, it looks like. I think I can make about $45 to $50 on these. So we'll just say $45. They're in really good shape. The only two that were on eBay had already sold. 
looks like between 60 and 80 dollars there could have been a best offer on those so they might not have sold for that much but i'm pretty confident we're gonna make some good profit on those and then we got some gamecube games i it's been a long time since i've seen gamecube games in a goodwill uh, especially not even priced up 2.99 is all they were uh they're not super great especially resident evil zero here uh you could sell this for about 15 16 maybe 17 dollars they're in really good condition after you get those stickers off and make a little bit of money uh, maybe like eight dollars and then this one right here best place to sell this is on amazon you can probably sell it for about thirty dollars in this condition and uh it will sell so i think we what is it like seventy dollars or so we'll make on this stuff so we're almost there so let's hit the next place and see if we can find anything there so we have made it into the next goodwill and we're in the toy area you know the drill we are looking for anything amazing that we can make some money on and I see a lot of interesting children's toys, like some of the Thomas the Tank Engine, stuff like that. I spot this Uno Deluxe here, though. Brand new sealed. That was a good pickup. We'll make some money on that. And here's Adventures Brother. I'm like, oh, cool. And I flip it over. $19.99. What are you doing, Goodwill? I did look it up, and new on Amazon, they're selling for 80 bucks. But that packaging was way too dest destroyed to sell as new. On eBay, you're looking at maybe $40, $50 new, less in that condition. Um, maybe mint condition, you could have got $60, but that's just too much goodwill. Um, unfortunate, that would have been a great find if it would have just been priced $2.99. That just shows you that goodwill does some price looking up on some of the stuff. I don't know why they would choose just a random sealed action figure like that, because... You know, you see stuff like that all the time. It's sealed in the same Goodwill and it's not priced up. So just kind of bizarre. Over here, we're looking around for some stuff and there's a med center. This would have been a great pickup if it would have been new or even maybe even clean. You could have made a little bit of money, but it was really dirty when I looked in there. And I'm not going to take the time to scrub that down to make like 10 or $15. Probably could have made about 20 some dollars, 25 if it was brand new. And we're over here in the shoes, and I pick up some San Antonio Shoe Company uh, free time shoes, I think they are. These are great shoes to pick up. Uh, I've sold them between $40 and $60 before. Uh, those are in good condition. They just need a, a wipe down. And over here in the women's shoes, we're trying to find something. I just got to go through the women's shoes really quickly because there's so many to look at, and I don't know the brands. But let me show you what I got. So here is the stuff I picked up in that Goodwill. Wasn't in there too long because I have an eye doctor appointment I had to get to. So uh, yeah, we picked up these free time sash shoes. They're missing the the sole there, but you know, they're still good money. For $4.99, uh, they can sell in the $40s, $50 range. They're really clean otherwise. I've sold a few pairs of these and they, they do move very well. I, I think minimum, I'm gonna make $25. And then with the Uno Deluxe there on Amazon, it's at $40 with a million rank, which is kind of high. At the time of this recording, uh, Christmas is around the corner, and I'm getting ready to send in a shipment. So I'll send that in. I'll probably price it at about $30. I do think I'll make right around uh, 20 bucks on that. I know a lot of people who are not familiar with Amazon, they're like, there's no way that you're going to sell that for $30 or $40. Uh, it happens all the time around Christmas. On Amazon, on eBay, I don't even know what it's going for, but it's sealed and in good condition, so we're going to throw it on Amazon. And with those two items, that's going to put me over $100, almost sure. Um, but we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going to some more Goodwills and see if we can add to this. Since I wasn't in that Goodwill very long, I feel like, you know, definitely under an hour. Um, right around an hour, probably, it took to find $100 worth of stuff. And really about 20 minutes of that was just driving, so really not that long. So I am back home, and I got some more stuff. I ended up going to another Goodwill and Salvation Army in another thrift store. First of all, let me show you what I got in Salvation Army. I got this Nerf gun, this Centrion Mega. Uh, it's big, but it was only $2.99. I don't know if you can see there. So I couldn't just leave it. It looked like it was selling. The prices were kind of weird. 35, 40 bucks maybe plus shipping. It won't be that bad to ship. I'll probably have to Frankenstein a box together. Uh, maybe two or three of the priority mail shoe boxes will work. Doesn't weigh a whole lot. So we'll see. And then in Salvation Army, I picked up this bread maker. 
They wanted $20 for this. It sat for weeks and eventually became the color that's $0.99. Cents. And for $0.99, cents, hey, I'll pick it up. It's not a great model. We got the parts in here that I typically sell. Probably sell the lid and those two parts. Probably make about $35 profit in the end. It's pretty dirty, so I don't want to take the time to clean it up and test it because complete and working, it was only selling for around $40 and that's with free shipping. I'll make more money just parting this stuff out. But over here, I picked up this glove. This was $3.99 at Goodwill, Steve Avery um, glove. Comps on this are looking pretty good. One sold for $35 and some more for around 25, I think. So I'll probably price it in between there, maybe $29.99. We'll make some money. Then at Goodwill, I picked up some of these um, Clairol curlers. They got the clips, it's in good condition. Looks like the paperwork's there. These were selling for about $60. I think there is one that even sold for $75 that had the box with it. This is looking to be in very good condition. So I'm going to make some great profit on this. I've actually been picking up a few of these uh, kind of curler sets. They just keep popping up and uh, they sell pretty quick. Then uh, also at Goodwill, I picked up this uh, charger battery for $2.99. Brand new sealed. Wasn't on Amazon, no comps at all on eBay. Did a quick search on Google and um, using the model number down here. And the only ones being sold are like not the Ryobi brand. So they were selling between $50 and $75. So this being the official brand and so rare, I think it goes to some sort of like weed trimmer or something. But we're just going to price this probably about $75. I think it's going to sell. There's another reseller in there. Um, did not buy it, maybe because they scanned it and, and seen it wasn't selling on eBay. I don't know why, um, probably should have bought that because even if it's not on eBay, you can still make some money. Then at the Veterans Thrift Store, I picked up this for a dollar, uh, just a Pokemon guide. It sells for about $15. It'll sell, so I figured I'd just go ahead and pick it up. Picked up these nice New Balance shoes. They're not high-end, but they were $3.99. So I'll go ahead and list those, probably make about $15 on those. I also picked up this Aliens. I probably shouldn't have picked this up, honestly. The box is kind of destroyed. It wasn't a price on it, so I took it up there and she told me that she would sell it for uh, five bucks. This is an old Toys R Us sticker. Um, you know, they're selling for like $25, but that's, that's in good condition. So I don't know what I'll get for this in the end. It's pretty light though, so it'll be easy enough to ship. I do not want to forget about the Nike Shield hat over here, brand new with tags. Goodwill had it priced up to $5.99, which you know, that's a fair price for a, a Nike hat that's new with tags. When they price up hats like this, it's, it's hard to complain because, you know, it's still a great deal. But so you never know, some Goodwills might price this at $20, $25. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. I'm probably going to sell it for about $25, I think. Uh, it should move pretty well. But there it is. That's the little haul I got today. I went out, found my first $100 in two Goodwills in about an hour. And then about an hour after that, I found the rest of the stuff. So eh, it took about two hours to find this junk. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Till next time.